Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of IoTMong.com. I am Vivek and in this tutorial we are going to do a face recognition based system. Sorry for staying out so long, I was preparing for something important and in upcoming tutorials you are going to see what exactly I was doing. Um, I was busy in learning new things which I can really implement in the tutorial to give you more quality tutorials and end-to-end -end tutorials. So that is what I'm going to focus on. So I'm just not going to give you the hardware or just give you the software. I'm going to make tutorials that combines both and give you an end-to-end -end integration based tutorials. There will be now a gap of 7 to 15 days. So this time period I need to prepare for new tutorials and the content of the tutorials. And last I'm going to introduce a lot of integration of machine learning with hardware. So yes, we are going to keep our interest in Internet of Things. But apart from that, I'm going to go one step ahead and introduce machine learning because I got a lot of requests to integrate machine learning with IoT, Arduino or any kind of other IoT boards. Uh, so this is what we are doing. And you are going to utilize a lot of existing AI based platforms, including Microsoft API, Skyros and tons of other platforms. We are going to see native solutions in upcoming tutorials that will include TensorFlow and don't worry, we will just put it as end-to-end -end integration. So let's get started with this tutorial. So as said that in this tutorial, I am going to make an application, a web application that will train your face and when we will test it, it will identify the face using webcam. Um, so let's directly see how it works. So this is the user interface which I made using Materialize which is a really beautiful framework for HTML files for CSS, for CSS and HTML. So basically it, it contains a set of user interfaces modules which you can easily integrate it with really cool buttons and the navigation bar and there's a lot of tons of things. So if you want to go ahead and build something on your own, you can really use this Materialize framework for this. So let's see it in action. So this specific web page is for training your face. Um, let's say I type my name and you have to turn on the camera and then simply click on train. And in some time it should pop up a window that image trained successfully by Vivek in name gallery. So let's test it. I'll just, uh, again, you don't have to do anything in this text box. I just leverage the same user interface. So again, turn on the camera and click on shoot button. Uh, as you can see that it identified my name as Vivek. I just put a small tone when we click the button to capture the image while recognizing it. So this is how it works. So let's see how exactly it works behind the scene. First, go to kairos.com. And uh, this is this is the platform which we'll be using for face recognition. It's really awesome platform compared to other platforms. The reason being it's uh, free forever. There are a couple of API calls which are free for you. So it is best for experimentation and you really get a good result on this. Um, so I'll directly go on login. You have, uh, you can sign up here and enter your email. After signing up, just enter your email and password and just click on login button. After that, you will have the API dashboard where you will get API ID and key. So you have to copy and paste it aside and keep it aside. And let's see the code. I will be uploading this web pages uh, in my Git in the GitHub link along with the explanation of what exactly you need to do and where the changes you have to make. So I'm not going to exactly like write the code in front of you. That is going to take a lot of time and I don't want you to lose your patience in between of tutorial. So I'll, I'll be exactly explaining the main parts of the code. Uh, so you can replicate it, you can download, you can just replace API keys and start playing with that. Uh, so let's get started. Um, before that, let's see the architecture. Um, yeah. So this is the architecture which we are using for this tutorial. So we have Kairos on one side, Kairos platform on the other side, and we have Kairos face API through which we can request to train the image and to recognize the image. And whatever images we have trained, it will save in the Kairos gallery where you can retrieve it using uh, request to require recognize image. And they have a set of APIs. So you can go in the APIs of getting started and here you can see all the APIs which are supported in Kairos right now. So for this moment, we are using face detection, face recognition and uh, face training API. 
side we have our computer which is acting as a server so we have a node.js http server running on our computer i'll show you how to run that I have made a code html css js and jquery and we have used materialized library for this the web page for recognize image also uses the same um, web technologies and we have webcam on our computer using which we can capture we will be capturing the images to send it to the kairos i'll again upload this architecture in the website you can check the link in the description for this architecture and code link urls other materials um, so let's see what is happening in the code uh, so this is main code index.html which is used to train the image and uh, mind that this css fonts and js you when you download the materialized framework or the library it is you will directly get these files so using these files you can create those beautiful user interfaces i'm not going to get into detail of html because if you are watching this tutorial i'm assuming that you are already familiar with basic programming languages so here uh, head section we have linked of icons we have link of css files which we are using and to make it so we are using jquery we are using again materialize javascript which will be using for you user interfaces and we have navigation bar and we have two buttons there in the navigation bar which links to your test.html and your index.html so i am going to just replace it with our not necessary and then we have a container in the and we have a card card layout and in the center we have two icons one is the camera icon and one is the to recognize image icon so let's load it so if I go to yeah so this is the camera icon and this is the whatever I whatever it is called so the first icon will be used to capture the to capture the image to start the camera and the second second button is used to capture the image and send it to Kairos for training then we have a text field in which we are passing the the id is ip but we are passing the name of the user by whose name we want to train and then we have two video boxes one is canvas and one is video box where uh, we will be displaying the live video when we open the camera and here is a box you cannot see it when you click on this right icon the image will start training and here is the snapshot which you can see whatever it captured and then we go to javascript so we are starting the user media and uh, we have created two variables for video and web stream and for start webcam when we click on this button uh, this capture camera button it will call the function start webcam in the start webcam it is getting the user media it is setting video as true audio as false because we don't need audio obviously and then inside that we will stream the video on the video object and on the video frame which we created here so the id is video so here it will start displaying the video and start streaming whatever images are coming and if there is any error it will just throw any error or or just stop the code at there itself so now uh, our video is started and it is capturing and it is showing it in our video frame box and then after that we have a function called snapshot so this is what is getting called when you capture or when you or when you click the other button and in this function you can see that image at that moment it took the image from the video frame whatever was showing in that and it is showing in our canvas and after showing it on, on the canvas i am getting the src or source of the image which is showing in the canvas and then i am getting the name of the person and in the data i am passing the source of the image which is, which is our local folder and the name of the person this gallery name you can change to anything so in this json file we are passing the image we are passing the subject id which is the name of the person and the gallery name by which gallery you want to save so you can save any kind of gallery and in the settings asynchronous true cross daemon true url is this is to train the image this url is used to train the image so i have put this kairos url and then method is post and headers will be application json app id you have to replace it with your app id app key you have to replace it with your app key 
cache control no cache and after that in the ajax response when it is done it will return as success and it will return as image trained successfully by name whatever name you gave in gallery name whatever gallery in whatever gallery you saved so this is something which is return as a response from the kairos when the image is trained successfully and that's it it will show a toast that the image is trained if it is not trained successfully then it will show that unable to train an image and that's how training part works um, now let's get to the testing part where we actually try to recognize the image of the user so again most of the things are same here so we have again passed on the javascript files which we are using the framework which we are using and the, and the jquery file again we have two buttons start webcam and snapshot two functions for this we have again the same video and canvas canvas and then we have audio here this audio is just for fun i added when you press the button it will just produce a make a sound code is same the only change is like when you start the video it starts streaming the video on the video frame and then when you click on the button that ring bell button and the sound produces after that we are using this api to recognize so we are passing the image again image source and the gallery name from where you have to search if you remember we have put the gallery name as arti in here in the main file so we have to search for the image in the arti this gallery whose name is arti um so again this is the url method is post in the headers again you have to replace your app id and app key and rest of the things are same it is successful it it will throw a message that the user is identified by name whatever json response i am getting of the user and it will throw a toast toast means the pop up the pop ups which were showing that the user is not identified let me show you how to run so you need to have the node js installed on your on your laptop or computer and you have to have this specific library http server so to install that simply type to type npm install http hyphen server and hit enter so in in some time it should install since i already have the library it will not take much time for me for you it might take uh, some time to install it so uh, the first thing you need to do is just download this folder from the github link extract it go in the web page fo web pages folder copy the link and get in that folder from command prompt and simply type http hyphen server so it will expose the web page web pages on this specific port 8080 and in the web browser just type in local host colon 8080 and that's it and then again you can watch the video from starting how exactly to run this like you need to type in the name first start the camera capture and it will train and you can go in the test app to exactly recognize the image i will leave the link of article and the code in the description section you can go ahead check out download and if you make something cool just post it in the link thank you for watching this tutorial happy learning hit like and share this video if you found this tutorial useful comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing awesome tutorials and don't forget to visit iotmong.com for more tutorials